The relationship between breath and mind, as the great Buddha once said, let the breath be your guide. For in its rhythmic dance lies the gateway to a tranquil mind. In the gentle inhale and exhale, discover the profound wisdom that intertwines the essence of breath and the serenity of the mind on the journey of self-discovery. Dharma was a young Buddhist monk who had devoted his life to the pursuit of enlightenment. He had left behind his family, friends, and worldly possessions to join a monastery in the Himalayas. There, he followed a strict routine of meditation, prayer, and service, hoping that by doing so, he would attain peace and wisdom. However, Dharma soon realized that his meditation practice was not going well. He found it hard to sit still for long periods, feeling restless, anxious, and bored. Constantly distracted by his thoughts and emotions, he wondered about his past, his future, and his purpose. He felt angry, sad, and lonely, doubting his faith, his teacher, and himself. He wanted to overcome these obstacles, but did not know how, feeling frustrated and hopeless. He thought that he was a bad monk, unworthy of enlightenment. Dharma decided to seek guidance from his teacher, a Zen master named Saida. Saida was the head of the monastery and the most respected monk in the region, known for his wisdom, compassion, and skill in meditation. Having studied with many masters from different traditions, he had attained a high level of realization. He was also a kind and humble person who treated everyone with respect and kindness. One day, after the morning prayer, Dharma approached Saida, bowed to him, and said, Master, I have a question for you. How can I improve my meditation and overcome my mental obstacles? Siddha smiled and said, Welcome, Dharma. I am glad that you have come to me. What is your question? Dharma said, Master, I have been meditating for a long time, but I feel that I am not making any progress. I feel restless, anxious, and distracted by my thoughts and emotions. I want to achieve peace and enlightenment, but I do not know how to calm my mind. Please teach me the secret of meditation. Saida said, Dharma, there is no secret to meditation. Meditation is simply the practice of being aware of your present experience. It is not about achieving anything or escaping anything. It is about being with what is as it is. Dharma asked, But Master, how can I be aware of my present experience when my mind is so noisy and chaotic? How can I be with what is when what is is so unpleasant and painful? Saida replied, The key to meditation is to focus on your breath. Your breath is the link between your body and mind. By observing and controlling your breath, you can regulate your nervous system, lower your stress levels, and increase your awareness. Your breath is the most basic and constant aspect of your life, always with you from the moment you are born to the moment you die. It is the source of your life and energy, the expression of your being. Dharma asked, But Master, how can I focus on my breath? My breath is so subtle and ordinary, I hardly notice it. How can it help me with my meditation? Saida explained, Dharma, your breath is subtle and ordinary, but it is also powerful and profound. It can help you with your meditation in many ways. Let me teach you some breathing techniques that you can use in your practice. Saida then taught Dharma various breathing techniques, starting with deep breathing. He explained, deep breathing is the foundation of all breathing techniques. It is the natural way of breathing that we often forget or neglect. It involves breathing slowly and deeply, filling your lungs with air and expanding your abdomen. It also involves exhaling fully and completely, emptying your lungs and contracting your abdomen. Deep breathing can help you relax your body, reduce your stress, and increase your oxygen intake. It can also help you clear your mind and prepare for meditation. Saida instructed Dharma to sit comfortably with his spine straight and shoulders relaxed, placing one hand on his chest and the other on his belly. He told him to breathe in through his nose and out through his mouth, focusing on his breath and feeling the movement of his chest and belly. Dharma followed Saida's instructions, and as he practiced deep breathing, he noticed that his breath became smoother, slower, and deeper. His body became more relaxed, his heart rate slowed down, 
and his blood pressure dropped. He felt a sense of ease and comfort, along with increased alertness and focus. He was able to observe his thoughts and emotions without getting attached to them, experiencing a sense of calmness, clarity, and joy. Dharma thanked Sita for teaching him deep breathing, and Sita said, You are welcome, Dharma. Deep breathing is the first step to meditation. It can help you enter a state of relaxation and awareness. However, it is not enough. You need to learn more breathing techniques to enhance your meditation and awareness. Saida then proceeded to teach Dharma another technique called alternate nostril breathing. He explained, alternate nostril breathing is a technique that balances the left and right hemispheres of your brain. It also balances the energy channels in your body, called natus. This technique involves breathing in and out through one nostril at a time, while closing the other nostril with your finger. Alternate nostril breathing can help you harmonize your body and mind, improve your concentration, and calm your emotions. It can also help you access higher states of consciousness and intuition. Saida instructed Dharma to sit comfortably, using his right thumb to close his right nostril and his right ring finger to close his left nostril. He told him to breathe in through his left nostril and out through his right nostril, then switch nostrils and repeat the cycle without pausing or holding his breath. Dharma followed Saida's instructions, and as he practiced alternate nostril breathing, he noticed that his breath became more rhythmic, even, and smooth. His mind became more balanced, calm, and clear, and he felt a sense of harmony and integration, along with increased focus and attentiveness. Dharma thanked Saida for teaching him alternate nostril breathing, and Sita said, You are welcome, Dharma. Alternate nostril breathing is a powerful technique that can help you balance your body and mind. It can enhance your concentration and calmness, but it is not enough. You need to learn more breathing techniques to master your meditation and awareness. Saida then introduced the third technique, breath counting. He explained, breath counting is a technique that trains your mind to focus and stay in the present moment. It involves counting your breaths from one to 10 and then starting over. Breath counting can help you improve your attention, memory, and mental clarity. It can also help you overcome boredom, drowsiness, and wandering thoughts. Additionally, it can help you develop mindfulness and insight. Saida instructed Dharma to sit comfortably, breathing normally and naturally without changing or controlling his breath. He told him to count one as he exhaled, two as he exhaled again, and so on up to ten, then start over. Dharma focused on his breath and counting, and as he practiced breath counting, he noticed that his breath became more regular, steady, and calm. His mind became more focused, sharp, and clear, and he felt a sense of concentration and awareness, along with increased wakefulness and alertness. Dharma thanked Saida for teaching him breath counting, and Sita said, You are welcome, Dharma. Breath counting is a simple technique that can help you train your mind to focus and stay in the present moment. It can improve your attention, memory, and mental clarity, but it is not enough. You need to learn more breathing techniques to perfect your meditation and awareness. Saida then introduced the fourth technique, breath visualization. He explained, breath visualization is a technique that uses your imagination and creativity to enhance your meditation and awareness. It involves visualizing your breath as a color, shape, sound, or sensation. Breath visualization can stimulate your senses, activate your brain, and enrich your experience. It can also help you transform your breath into positive energy, a healing force, or a spiritual symbol. Additionally, it can help you connect with your true self and the universe. Saida instructed Dharma to sit comfortably, breathing normally, and naturally without changing or controlling his breath. He told him to choose a color, shape, sound, or sensation that resonated with him. He instructed Dharma to imagine his breath as that chosen element, visualizing it entering and leaving his body, filling and emptying his lungs, and circulating and radiating throughout his body. Dharma focused on his breath and visualization, and as he practiced breath visualization, he noticed that his breath became more vivid, vibrant, and varied. His mind became more imaginative, creative, 
and enriched, and he felt a sense of inspiration and upliftment, along with a greater sense of connection and alignment. Dharma thanked Sida for teaching him breath visualization, and Siddha said, You are welcome, Dharma. Breath visualization is a wonderful technique that can help you enhance your meditation and awareness. It can stimulate your senses, activate your brain, and enrich your experience. However, it is not the end. You need to go beyond the breathing techniques to realize your true nature and the ultimate reality. Let me teach you the final technique, breath awareness. Saida introduced the fifth and final technique, breath awareness, as the essence of all breathing techniques. He explained, breath awareness is the ultimate goal of meditation and awareness. It involves being aware of your breath as it is, without changing, controlling, counting, or visualizing it. Breath awareness can help you transcend your breath, your body, your mind, and yourself. It can help you realize your true nature, which is pure awareness, bliss, and peace. Additionally, it can help you realize the ultimate reality, which is one, infinite, and eternal. Saida instructed Dharma to sit comfortably, breathing normally and naturally without changing or controlling his breath. He told him to be aware of his breath as it is, without counting, visualizing, or judging it. He instructed Dharma to be aware of his breath as the object of his awareness, and also to be aware of his awareness as the subject of his awareness. Dharma focused on his breath and awareness, and as he practiced breath awareness, he noticed that his breath became more subtle, quiet, and still. His mind became more silent, spacious, and still, and he felt a sense of detachment and freedom, along with a profound sense of unity and oneness. He was able to be aware of his breath and his awareness and nothing else, experiencing a sense of pure awareness, bliss, and peace. Dharma thanked Saida for teaching him breath awareness, and Siddha said, You are welcome, Dharma. Breath awareness is the ultimate technique that can help you realize your true nature and the ultimate reality. It can help you transcend your breath, your body, your mind, and yourself. It can help you attain enlightenment and liberation. Now that you have learned all the breathing techniques, you need to practice them diligently and sincerely. Make them a part of your life. Breathe with awareness and live with awareness. That is the way to peace and wisdom. Dharma bowed to Saida and expressed his gratitude, saying, Thank you, Master. You have taught me the relationship between breath and mind, showing me the way to peace and wisdom. I am grateful for your kindness and generosity. I will practice the breathing techniques every day, breathing with awareness and living with awareness. I will follow your example and guidance, striving to attain enlightenment and liberation. Saida smiled and said, you are welcome, Dharma. I am proud of your progress and dedication. I am happy to see you grow and blossom. I am confident that you will achieve your goal and fulfill your potential. You are a good monk, a good student, and a good friend. I wish you all the best. May you be happy, healthy, and free. May you be enlightened and liberated. May you be a blessing to yourself and others. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the story of Dharma and Siddha and learned something from their relationship between breath and mind. Breath is a powerful and precious gift that we often take for granted. It is the source of our life and energy, the expression of our being, and the link between our body and mind. By practicing the breathing techniques that Dharma learned, you can improve your physical, mental, and spiritual health. You can also experience the benefits of meditation such as relaxation, concentration, clarity, calmness, joy, insight, wisdom, and enlightenment. But more importantly, by practicing breath awareness, you can realize your true nature, which is pure awareness, bliss, and peace. You can also realize the ultimate reality, which is one, infinite, and eternal. May you be blessed with the gift of breath and mind and the relationship between them. May you be guided by the wisdom and compassion of Sita and the inspiration and dedication of Dharma. May you benefit from the breathing techniques and breath awareness that they taught us. May you be peaceful and wise, 
realizing your true nature and the ultimate reality. May you be happy, healthy, and free. May you be enlightened and liberated. May you be one with the breath, the mind, and the heart. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any of our upcoming wisdom stories. You can also leave a comment below and let me know what you think of this story or if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. I would love to hear from you. Thank you for joining us. Until next time, stay wise and stay curious.